Well, if the culprit is going to confess, I guess even morons can't screw up. The blackened who killed Kokinchi is Kaido. You all got it right. So you all got it right, huh? Even Shuichi and Maki roll photos for me. What a relief. I knew you guys wouldn't get it wrong. But man, was it hard to act like Kokichi the whole time. Sure, he wrote most of his own lines. Seriously, look at this huge script. He wrote the whole thing. Wow. So in the little time he had, he managed to write out this entire script for how this trial would go down? That's impressive. It's even got a bunch of alternate lines for different events too. It's crazy. Even so, I still had to ad lip. You guys couldn't tell though, huh? Hey, come on guys, don't look so sad. You got it right, it's all good. Why? Why did you kill Kokichi? You were against the killing game. Why did you kill him? I believe that you absolutely wouldn't do such a thing. Maki. Was she protecting Kaido? Believing in him? Like me? Yeah, I should explain. Most of it is just like Shuichi said. Then he told me I had to cooperate with his plan. Plan? What plan? I've been thinking this whole time of a plan to try to mastermind of guard. Trim of guard? What are you talking about? You're the mastermind. Ah, uh, that was a lie. I only pretended to be the mastermind. Pretended? You all fell for it. You know, I prepared a bunch of stuff. Like this remote control. I had Miyu make it. A mysterious message in the courtyard? Using Gonta and making him a murderer? All that preparation was just to make you guys think I was the mastermind. So you set up Gonta to make us believe you were the mastermind? That's still kind of messed up to sacrifice Gonta like that. What the hell? Why did you do all that? The reason why I pretended to be the mastermind? was to end this boring killing game. To end it? I thought if I showed you the despairing truth, you guys wouldn't want to go outside anymore. I thought it would end the killing game. But instead, this happened. I'm gonna die by Maki's hands. Why do you think this happened? Why do you think Maki tried to kill me? Uh, you abducted Kaido. Why do you think the killing game started again? Why? Because the true mastermind instigated it. I'm certain of it. They made a move without us noticing. Man, thanks to that, everything is ruined. The true mastermind instigated it? So whoever that person is, they instigated Maki's actions too? Yeah, they probably tried to eliminate me because I pretended to be the mastermind. I mean, we did get that flashback light. My actions were instigated by the true mastermind? That can't be. The reason I decided to kill Kokichi was because I remembered the truth from the flashback light. Maybe making you remember it was what the mastermind wanted. Yeah. What? Maybe the true mastermind had us use the flashback lights so it would target Kokichi as a remnant of despair? The flashback light itself was the true mastermind's trap all along. They expected us to target Kokichi once we remembered he was a remnant of despair. Kokichi certainly expected it. That's why he talked about the true mastermind. Even so, this is all rather convenient for the true mastermind. The person claiming to be the mastermind just so happened to be a remnant of despair? We're all students of Hope Speak. All our fates are tied to the remnants of despair. I never would have imagined that fate would bring us to Kokichi's murder. It just plays too nicely for the true mastermind. I didn't know about the flashback light, guess that's another mystery for you. Anyway, like I was saying. Then who is this true mastermind? Who knows? I don't know either. But it doesn't matter. We can't lose. This game is pointless unless you win. That's why I thought of a special plan. When I'm on the verge of losing, my plan will help me win. I don't really get it, but is this the plan to draw off the mastermind? Well, it's not that difficult. Kaido, I need you.
<laughs> to kill me. <laughs> what? I don't know. Plan was to make a case where the victim was unknown. And then trick Monokuma into thinking I was the victim so he'd mess up. It'd be ruled that either Makiro or Kokichi were the blackened. They didn't show myself and Monokuma's ruling would be invalid. If Monokuma's ruling is invalid, the killing game would end. Demo. That's what I'm most curious, in, curious about. What makes you think it would end? So yeah, I asked Kokichi about that myself. Why would he care if he messed up who the blackened was? And this is what he said. Even if it's Manukuma or the true mastermind, they can't break the rules as they please. Being unfair like that isn't allowed. Mother. What do you mean? So Dead games are meant to be watched. If no one was watching, there would be no reason to be such a stickler about the rules. There would be no point in making this a game in the first place. But Manukuma's been a stickler about the rules and about making the game interesting. That's why he agreed to my plan in the virtual world. Which means when it comes as aware someone is watching us. In which case I have no doubt that this death game is being shown to someone. Is that is some kind of show? Who would be watching? We're the only people left alive, aren't we? Eh. That's right, the flashback light is the reason we even remember that. Yeah. But Kukiji might have been right. Why have a death game if no one's watching? I wasn't sure about it at first, but after this cloud tr class trial, there's no doubt. Monokuma can't do whatever he wants. He's bound by the rules of the game. That's why you couldn't afford to get the culprit wrong, why you relied on Shuichi. Just like Okichi said, if the game's rules matter, someone's watching. Hmm, but that game is made to be watched. If that's true, then who? Who is watching this? Nah. What's this all about, Monokuma? Is this killing him really a show for someone? Uh, buh, buh. Who can say? Uh. Why won't you tell us? We were friends during the trial. Oh, Honestly, I was just happy you guys cooperated with me. Ma. Humans love to help. They jump at any opportunity to extend a helping hand. Deva. Then here's another question. Who are you really? If Kokichi, a remnant of despair, is not the mastermind, then who is the true mastermind? Is it another remnant of despair like him? Eh. I'm not gonna spill the beans on a perfect to be continued cliffhanger like that. Why are you just too cute? Really? I understand Kokichi's plan. Why did you agree to work with him, Kaido? Why did you agree to kill Kokichi? Because he saved your life? You should have just ignored him. He's better off dead anyway. Yeah. It was kind of hard to ignore such an annoying guy. What? I wonder how far ahead he planned this evil scheme of his. Huh? Yeah, but killing you... What are you talking about? You want me to kill you? Oh. I figured you'd react like that. But are you sure you're okay with that? <laughs> because if this poison kills me, Maki would become the blackened. And her crime would be exposed so easily. Oh, no, if that happened, Maki and I would have died for no reason, right? Which is just what the true mastermind expects. Damn it, that's plain dirty. That's why you gave me the antidote. I am the ultimate supreme leader. There are no depths I won't sink to. Even if I have to sacrifice myself. Anyway, this is our chance. Our chance to end this killing game. We'll bring the true mastermind and everyone who's watching. <laughs> we'll bring them down to utter despair. Then everyone who died can rest in peace. Ah, oh, crap. I'm gonna die soon. Can we get the star already? <laughs> You're seriously crazy. <laughs> but you know. <laughs> then he... Blackmailed you by using me? Yeah. No, I agreed to his plan once I heard the words ruin this killing game. He was crazy, but he, that let him come up with some crazy plans. We needed a crazy plan in order to stand a chance against Monokuma. I bet on the chance. I didn't have any other choice. Because I'm out of time. Huh? Time? You mean your health? You said you were fine. You told me not to worry about it anymore. Ah, my bad. That was a lie. A lie? 
Yeah, it's pretty bad. Honestly, I'm at my limit just talking. No, it can't be. What are you gonna wonder how this happened? I don't remember at all. In my memories, I was fine during the medical exam for my training. Hmm. If I was fine during the medical exam, then that means... This might be the virus. Virus? One of the plagues that caused our planet to crumble. A virus carried by meteorites that spread across the globe. Hope's Peak Academy along with the rest of the planet was in danger of extinction. Even though we had come so far and triumphed over so much despair, we were almost wiped out in an instant. This must have something to do with the virus. Kenan didn't use that flashback light. He might not remember it. But weren't we supposed to be immune? We were selected because we didn't... Perhaps the virus was dormant when you were selected for the Gopher project. You could have been infected the whole time, showing no symptoms until very recently. Kaino is infected with the virus? How could that be? I don't know what you're talking about, but I guess I'm pretty screwed, huh? Well, I knew this was coming. That's why I agreed to Kukichi's plan. But you know, when I found out about the plan, I thought it was pretty awesome. Could you let me know a whole outline of it? I freaked out when I read it. It was a pretty good plan. I thought we might be able to trick Monokuma. <laughs> but I knew Shuichi would see right through it to in the end. <laughs> what? <laughs> and that's exactly how it went. Nice job, Shuichi. You're already something. <laughs> Kaido, did you? <laughs> yeah, I knew you guys would figure everything out. Oh. That's why I was able to get on board with Kukichi and lie to you like that. Even if I messed stuff up during the trial, I knew Shuichi would see the truth. That's just what I expect from my sidekick. Why? If you knew I'd see through it, why? Do you know it was pointless from the start? You shouldn't have gone that far. No, it wasn't pointless. It ended up being a huge success. Why? Because of this plan and Kokichi pretending to be the mastermind? We get closer to the true mastermind's lair. Behind this truth, there's got to be a hint that leads to the real truth. The real truth? Yeah, no doubt. That's why Kokichi gave his life. You talk as if he was your partner when you hated him so strongly before. I hate his guts. I'm still pissed off at him. He made us go through so much crap to the end. No, even beyond that. He was the lying sack of shit. It's getting harder to breathe, so please, can you... Hey, can I ask one thing? You want to ruin this killing game, but... You kept saying how fun this game was. That was a lie, obviously. How could a game that you're forced to play be fun? I had to think this game was fun to survive. I had to lie to myself. You little... The bastard who created this game to talk about our lives and the shit's enjoying it? They all piss me off. That's why I'm willing to do whatever it takes to end this game. Eh? Kokichi said that? Yeah. That couldn't be lied to. He probably just said it so I'd cooperate with him. Mm. Was it really a lie? I think his dying words may have been the honest truth. And it's never a lie. He's not the type to shed real tears. I wonder which one it is. A lie? Or the truth? There's no way to ever find out. It's just what we want to believe. Yep, we still don't really understand Kokichi. Maybe that's what lying is all about. The truth is in the eye of the beholder, huh? Kokichi was the very embodiment of a lie. <sighs> that pretty much wraps up my explanation. Now, finally. <laughs> I need to apologize to Shuichi. Uh? Me? I don't know. To be honest, I was jealous of you. Uh? Jealous? Because you're always saving us, you know? Your detective skills kept us alive. You were just way too cool. I got frustrated. Uh, yeah. That's why I was so harsh on you. My bad. Uh, Kaido, that's not true. Uh, I was only confident because you were there for me. When you made me your sidekick, you said you'd take responsibility. That's why I can do all this. If you didn't talk to me back then, even now, I'd be... <coughs> Kaido? <coughs> Kaido?
Kaido, are you okay? How can I be okay? I'm about to die. You sure are, Bucko? It's punishment time! Punishment? I won't let you. I won't let you kill Kaito. What? You're planning to get in my way? You know what'll happen if you do that, don't you? I don't care what happens. I plan to kill you anyway from the start. Yes, I've been determined to fight back for a while now. No, stop. Kaido, I can't. I can't let you die. I don't care if you're sick. I don't care if you're dying. I won't let Monokuma touch you. What's so funny? Just think about life. How irreplaceable it is. Know what I mean? What? When life ends, those closest to it mourn. But if you could somehow recycle that life, then those closest to it wouldn't need to mourn anymore, right? If we could recycle life, the world would be filled with hope. That's my point. What are you talking? Alright, time for your grand re-entrance. Wait. The monocups? Yep. Of course he'd bring back the Mono Cubs. I'm Monotaro, no matter how you read it or spell it or say it, it's Monotaro. What? That's totally a lie. What else going on? I could have swore there was more of you chumps before. Fuck it, if I know, let's destroy Monam. This sad tech is bumming me the fuck out. Weren't all the monocups completely destroyed? Those old monocups were destroyed. These are the latest model. They still get their factory settings, so they're like brand new characters. Who cares? My cubs are back. I'm not lonely and miserable anymore. You brought them back on a whim like that? You guys are just as replaceable. Maybe not as replaceable as the monocups. But finding other people to participate in this killing game is easier than you might think. Finding other people? That would mean that we aren't the last people alive. So the truth about the outside world has to be a lie then. I got no idea what's going on, but that's right. Yeah. We're so fucking lovable and shit, except one of them, of course. Yeah. Do you know what else this means? Yeah. Now that the money cups are back, I've got my ex soul entourage protecting me again. Still wanted to buy me now? And this is man, if he just got the exosols again. So what? It doesn't matter. I won't let you kill Kaido. I'll fight until the end. Stop, even if you fight the exosols, you'll just get killed, damn it. The remote control and the last electro bomb were crushed in the press. I won't give up. Makiro, enough for it. I've never felt this way before. I've always fought to kill, but this is the first time I've fought to protect someone. And I've never been given a nickname like Makiro before either. You. I've never met someone as stubborn as you before. And I've never fallen for someone before. Makiro. Oh, dang, Maki. I guess the two of you really got a lot closer than you let on, huh? I don't want to stand. I just. Don't. That's why I absolutely won't let you kill Kaido. I absolutely won't let you. Makiro, I'm sorry, but that's not an option. I don't have much time left as you think. I'm fighting just to stay standing. But I... Hey Makiro, I asked you before. What's your enemy? Before you hated yourself so much. You didn't even like yourself a little. That wasn't the, that the reason you tried to distance yourself from others? You decided you didn't deserve their friends, didn't you? That was your enemy. But not anymore, huh? You're alright now. You fell for a guy like me. Now you can learn to like yourself. Hey, don't cry. Can't you send me off with one last smile? You guys too. I'm not gonna allow any tears. Send me off with a bang. Alright, Kaido. 
You won't cry. Me too. I'm gonna hold it in. Yeah, I'll, I'll endure it. I can't cry, even if I wanted to. Sorry about the wait, Monokuma. You can go ahead and start now. Can do. Oh boy, my first punishment time. I've never seen one before. Let me just say this to the true mastermind controlling Monokuma. You better get ready. My friends aren't gonna lose to you. That's all. I'll leave the rest to you guys. End this ridiculous killing game. We'll end it, so please don't worry. Shuichi, never forget you're not alone. Your friends, don't try to do everything by yourself, okay? Yeah, Kaido. Okay. Don't forget, the impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. Thanks, Kaido. Maki, no tears now. Maki Roll, how long are you gonna cry? You should smile. I can't. That's impossible. I can't. <laughs> of course, my bad for making you cry like that. <laughs> right, let's end this with a bang. <laughs> you don't gotta tell me. I'm excited to get this started. Well, screw you. I'm gonna die the way you want. I'm not gonna die the way you want. <laughs> That was almost wholesome for an execution. I think if Kaido could have gone out anyway, that's kind of the way he would have wanted to go. So, wow. Also, uh, Kibo, yeah. Kibo, are you okay? You got hit by that debris when you protect... Yeah. I'm fine, more importantly. <laughs> What's the matter, Monokuma? Upset that Kaido won? Eh? What do you mean, Kaido won? He died before the end of your punishment. Kaido didn't die from your execution. Yoika. That's right, Kaido wasn't killed by you. Huh? It's Kaido's victory. Yeah. We lost! <laughs> I don't know if you meant to do it, but he certainly went out like a stubborn jackass. Well, whatever. It's not like this is the end of the kidding game. It's fine. It's not over? No shit! Any it written in the school regulations? The clink game will go on until there's just one black and there are two spotless. School regulations. You're gonna follow the regulations, huh? The only reason you want the rules is because you're showing this to someone. I just want an entertaining killing game. But you're certainly entitled to your opinion. 
It's enough. Enough of this nonsense, Monokuma. Or bullshit, I guess. I made a promise to Kaido. I will end this killing game. And to give Kaido's death meaning, I swear I will keep my promise. Yeah, we're not going to let anyone else die. Who's gonna play that game anymore? It's already over. You could cut the tension with a knife. What's everyone else talking about anyway? I feel like we stumbled into the last act. I don't know what's happening at all. Pops, fill us in. We wanna help you out. But it's okay, he's acting nice. He's setting up for brownie points. I just gotta help myself around you cute little cubs. Get around, kids. I'll spend a whole month telling you about what you missed. A whole month? Won't that take longer than the whole chapter? I'll tell you about it while I smother you with hugs and kisses. You kids go on ahead and wait for me at home. Why did I say behind? Because I want to give you all a reward for working so hard. We don't want it. Go away. By the way, I don't know where you got the idea that this killing game can be stopped. But there's nothing a participant can do to end this killing game. No way. Nah, -uh. this game is going to keep going and going for a long time. Hmm. Another flashback light? Forcing it on us too. Sneaky. What did you just do? Was that a flashback light just now? Is it broken? I don't feel like I remembered anything. This flashback light has a special effect. You'll remember soon enough. You'll remember that despair is the only choice you have. And that hope doesn't exist there at all. The killing game will never end. Mm, that's not good. He declared the killing game would continue. And that there is no hope. After all that, I don't remember how we got back. It took all I had just to accept the reality that Kaido was gone. Not just Kaido, Kokichi too. Someone we all trusted, and someone none of us trusted. We lost them both. But it wasn't all for nothing. We're drawing ever closer to discovering the true mastermind. Junko? She's alive anyway? How? Hmm. No way. I. Hmm. There has to be something to this. The killing game will never end. Never ever. As long as I'm around, it'll never end. It'll repeat over and over and over. Why would I let something this fun ever end? I want to have more fun. As long as it's fun, we have to keep doing it. That's just simply some ply in demand. Well then, that that sure is a great teaser for next chapter, isn't it? Boy oh boy. Later that night, I found myself standing in that one spot in the courtyard where Kaido and I would train together. My heart felt crushed, all loss and guilt and helplessness sinking in my chest. But still, I stood there. What are you doing? Hey, Maki. How are you dealing with things? Maki. So you came too? Yeah. I'm sorry, Maki. For what? I was the one who drove Kaido into a corner. It's like Kaido, I end up betraying everyone important to me. It's all my fault. Are you feeling lonely? Are you lonely? Now that Kaido is gone? Yeah, lonely. I feel lonely and so sad. I don't know what to do. The only reason I'm still alive right now is because of Kaido. If he hadn't have been my friend, I would be... So then. Me too. I can't remember the last time I ever cried that hard. I wonder how long it's been. Mm. But 
I won't cry anymore. I'm sad, but I'm grateful to Kaido. Mm. Grateful? Mm. Yeah. I wanted to tell him that rather than being sad or lonely, I'm grateful to him. <laughs> That's why I won't cry anymore. I'm not going to wallow in pity. I want to show him how much I appreciate all the things he did. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's the same for me. I want to show my appreciation too. I'm sure our friends who have passed on don't want to see us miserable. Thanks. Yeah. So you guys were here after all. Just like I thought. I knew you guys would be here because it cost a spell to find you. Tsumugi? Himiko? If you don't mind, can we join you in your training? I'll train you all from the ground up so we can end this killing game together. We're going to end this together? Huh? Himiko and I promised Kaido. Yoika. Yeah, we're gonna do what we promised and work together to end the skilling game. Yes. We can't afford to lose to despair. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. But where's Kibo? What's going on with him? Did his factory resetting or did his settings get messed up because of what happened? Because a loose killer robot would be bad for us right now. Minakuma said that there's no hope anywhere, but he's wrong. There is hope. My friends are my hope. Kaido said it best. I'm not alone. That's right. I have friends. Not just my friends here, but also my friends who have died. They all gave us their hope too. That's why I'm going to live. I want to live for everyone who died. Despair cannot defeat me. I will hold on and survive no matter what. Thank you, Kaido. Nayami,もともと辛いことも悲しいことも嫌なことも苦しいことも汗と一緒に流しまえ。体を動かしながら時間が過ぎるのを待てばどんな痛みも思い出に変わっちまうんだ。あんたも。体を動かしなよ。ああ、これには悩み事とかねえからよ。なんつったって、俺は宇宙に届く桃田海斗だからな。え、ずるいよ。桃田くん。ねえ。Oh, by the way. What happened to Kibo? Do you know where he went? Uh? Kibo? Uh, I don't know. Uh. What is that guy off doing? <laughs> I don't think a robot really needs any training. <laughs> but the rest of us are here. I kind of wish he had come too. It's <laughs> さっきまであれだけ聞こえていた内なる声が僕に希望の力を与え進むべき道を教えてくれていた内なる声がすっかり聞こえなくなってしまいました今はとても静かですだからこそこれは僕の意思です僕らに突きつけられているのか絶望のただ一択だけだとしてももう希望なんてないとしても僕は絶対に絶望なんかに負けません僕終わらせてみせますこれが終わらないというのなら無理やりでも終わらせてみせます今から僕はこの絶望にまみれた最終学園 Uh oh, this doesn't seem good. This seems really, really bad, actually. It's a really cool scene, but things might go poorly for us in the next chapter. We'll see how it goes then. But this seems bad.
Because that's the end of chapter 5. Voyage without purpose or passion. To be continued. Wait, so we didn't finish the chapter? Surely we did, right? And we're starting chapter 6. I don't know what's happening next time, but that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all then.